it's it's gorgeous out here. Hey Siri, what is the temperature outside? It's currently 59 degrees. Monday, December 21st, 2020, 59 degrees, no wind at all. I'll take it. Like I said, straight up noon on a Monday, time to test the tornado sirens. You live in Southwest Oklahoma, you're in Tornado Alley. But thank goodness this time of the year, it's not severe weather season, so it's good of the city to make sure that the, um, that the sirens are working. Speaking of the city, let's go ahead and take the drone up and see how the uh, little town's looking from a bird's eye view. just got through flying the drone obviously the situation is I'm going to sit here and work on editing some drone videos um, tutorial videos those of you who probably discovered this channel if you like drones it's probably how you discovered the channel but I do appreciate you watching these vlogs too and for those of you who watch the vlogs that could care less about a freaking drone I also appreciate you guys watching the vlogs. so I appreciate all you guys who watch the videos but I'm going to sit here and work on editing the drone tutorial videos that I've been shooting with the DJI Mini 2 drone. Bodhi is taking a nap, that's why I'm kind of trying to keep my voice down. Samantha is on her way home from Norman, she had a baby doctor appointment. The whole baby thing is exactly why my computer is now hidden here in the living room as opposed to my own office studio because now the office studio is being transformed into baby boy number two's room and still nameless baby boy no idea what we're going to name the kid and march 3rd is the due date it's late december we're running out of time you guys are letting me down you're supposed to be leaving all kinds of good comments and recommendations of names just kidding a lot of you have and we appreciate it just having such a tough time. Anyways, yada, yada, yada. I'm gonna sit here and do some editing. Uh-oh, somebody has woke. Got another drone tutorial knocked out, edited, posted on my YouTube channel. It is 3.15 p.m. I am picking up my dad. Got Bodie back here. We're gonna try to attempt to go to the park, but I think it may or may not be closed because of COVID or because of the problems from the ice storm, like all the limbs and all those things. The city, I don't think, um, has made it to the, you know, the city park yet because they made um all the residents of the city the priority and picked up all their limbs first anyways if the park is not open then i'm sure we'll just go to one of the public school playgrounds and just let these kids get out in this 63 degree sunshine and dad's going to um, come take some photos of course he's going to be using that same lens that was a vlog or two ago maybe the last vlog they did the portraits of samantha and bodie in the snow so yeah for the most part <laughs> a lot of talk for me to basically just say in a nutshell that we are going to get out in the sunshine and enjoy it on this beautiful day right right so i had to make a pit stop and pick up my niece parker she is going to play with bodie at the playground we're going to go to a public school playground because the park gates were closed and I honestly think that has more to do with the uh, tree limbs and stuff like that than the COVID situation. So 
Take homeboy down the big slide. burn some little kid energy successful it is now 10 till 5 going to drop dad off and then we're going to get back home and see what's going on so the sun sets here in about what 45 minutes or so yeah and being that it's december 21st it's supposed to be uh, i don't really know exactly what it's called but we're it's the winter solstice. The winter solstice. Short, shortest day of the year. It's the shortest day of the year, but also with the planets, this what I'm talking about. Jupiter and Saturn are supposed to be like in line with the Earth, basically, to where when you see them, uh, which one's the furthest one away? My very elderly mother just served us nine pizzas. So it's Saturn and Jupiter. Which one's my very elderly mother? just so i guess jupiter is right here and then saturn is behind it and they're kind of in a line with earth Whoa, and uh i guess they're going to be lined up and form like this really bright it's going to look like one big bright shiny star and apparently this is the first time this has happened in like since sometime in like the 1200s like oh just almost 800 years or whatever so I have a telescope, I have seen Saturn's rings with my telescope, and I've even seen some of the, oh, I don't know what you call them, like the lines and texture on Jupiter. But I'm gonna try to maybe get the telescope out, I think an hour after um, sunset is when it's supposed to be most visible, but it's gonna be pretty low. So you kinda have a pretty short window of when you gotta get it done. So may try that for the vlog, who knows, we'll see what happens. But anyways, that's what's going on. Okay, well, just got here to my dad's house. Still in the city limits, but kind of right on the outskirts. There's still gonna be quite a bit of light pollution. Not the most ideal spot for something like this, but yeah, you can't really see them, but there's already a bunch of people that have come and they're set up and parked back here because, because it's a good view 
of uh, the western sky. That's the Anadarko Municipal Airport right behind me. So obviously it's a big old huge wide open field for obvious reasons, but here comes old man. We're gonna get a game plan together, get set up, and hopefully this thing will be uh, a site that we haven't seen in about 800 years. Man, your astrophotography degree is fixing to come in handy. Huh. All right, so just to give you guys a little bit of context, that way is straight south. We have the moon right there. Then when we look over here back towards the west, that bright looking, what appears to be a star, is actually two planets almost in a perfect line to Earth. And the one that's closest to us is Jupiter. And then right behind it is Saturn, the ones with the rings. So this is gonna be really interesting to see if I can find it with the telescope. Usually it's easy to, but my spotter or my finder's off. But the deal is, it's going it's going this way then right about 7 30 ish it's going to go under the horizon so the most ideal time is going to be right after the sun sets obviously which it already has but we're losing you know daylight and then it'll be dark and hopefully we'll be able to see it really good should appear like a very very bright star <laughs> All right, guys, this is extremely hard to get in focus and film in the first place, but I know it's real shaky and real blurry, but the bigger one is off, obviously Jupiter. It's closer. Uh, where'd it go? And then the other one is Saturn, and I wish you could see what I see. I wish it was a lot more in focus, see if I can find it again. But um, it looks killer in the telescope. You can actually see four or five of Jupiter's little moons. They look like teeny tiny dots. And of course you can see Saturn and of course from here you can see that they're not in a perfect line with Earth but those planets are extremely close together as far as you know from from looking here at Earth and with the naked eye standing on Earth looking it looks like they are just one big bright blob but of course those two planets right there that you're looking at are so 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 far apart from each other and obviously even more so far from Earth but Really cool stuff. I wish I could do a better job again of showing you guys. I think you can barely to the what looks like the right of Jupiter, the top one. You can see a little dot. Again, those are some of Jupiter's moons. And then, man, I wish you guys, oh, I can't say it enough. I wish you could see the rings of Saturn. It looks so cool. Dad's got his own little telescope rigged up on his uh, cannon body. Uh, what is that, 300? Yeah. Not doing too good though with it? It's shaking too much, man. I, I, uh, I don't have the best tripod in the world for this. I thought that was really right stuff. That's the head. Oh, <laughs> but tripod. not the base. Yeah, that's not the best. It's... I believe this may be a little better than what I had earlier, guys. I think you can barely make out the rings on Saturn. And you can see a couple, maybe two or three of those moons of Jupiter. I'm fighting for you. I'm trying my hardest to uh, get you guys to see what I'm seeing. Of course, what I'm seeing with my naked eye through the telescope still way better than that. So backing out a little bit, guys, for a little perspective, there is the telescope and there is Jupiter, its moons, and Saturn. The time is now just about 6.30, so... I tell you what, while we're out here with the uh, telescope out, let's go ahead and swing that thing around. Check out the old moon. I'll try to show you guys what I'm seeing, but again, it's very hard to put your camera up to the eyepiece to see what's going on. We just yelled across the dad's street to the neighbor to have him come check it out real quick. But I think we're about to shut this down. It's very, very cool. Um, very cool to see 
two planets in one frame of the telescope and those uh, moons and everything. And um, yeah, tried my best to share it with you guys. <laughs> I am done with the astrology or astronomy. I am not sure which one it is, but done with all that. It is 10 till 8 p.m. I am going to Taco Mile, gonna run through the drive-thru and grab dinner. Samantha already ate, which which is my fault. I missed out on dinner because I wanted to go check, you know, you know, check the planets out. So pulling up to Taco Mile right now. That's where I'm going to end this vlog. As always, I hope everything is going amazing your way be sure to comment say hello and until next time we'll see you in the next one vlog number 297 over